Hello. We're going to go ahead and get started in a seat here in the middle of our mat. Go ahead and close your eyes. Begin to just let go and let anything that you brought from outside of your mat, any conversations, any kind of thoughts um, that were with you as you entered your mat today, let's go ahead and just let them fall by the wayside. So to begin to breathe, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Releasing, like I said, anything that just no longer serves you as you enter into your space on your mat here today. I want to share just a quick quote. Looking outward for fulfillment will always disappoint us and keep contentment one step out of reach. I offer the practice of looking inward to you as a possible intention as you enter into your space today on your mat. Continue to breathe here, inhaling and exhaling out the mouth. Inhale and exhale. For these next couple of breaths, let's go ahead and begin to take that breath in the nose and out the nose. Inhale. And exhaling out the nose. Let's maintain inhaling and exhaling through the nose for the remainder of the class as we begin to continually look inward for the strength, looking inward for the joy, looking inward for the gratitude that we express for our body and ourselves as we enter into this space today. Let's go ahead and inhale your arms up. Exhale, cactus those arms, slight back bend. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, floating that right hand to the ground behind you. Left hand comes to the outside of that right knee. Gaze floats over that right shoulder. Continuing to inhale and exhale here. Inhale, floating that right hand up. Inhale, arms up, Tadasana, palms facing each other. And exhale, floating that right hand outside the left knee. Left hand meets the ground behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, floating those hands up, Tadasana. Exhale, cactus those arms, slight bend in the back. Inhale, those arms up. Exhale, hands meet the knees. Inhaling your chin up. We'll do some seated cat cows here, slight bend in the back. Exhale, rounding in the back, chin meets the chest. Inhale, chin up, chest up, slight bend in the back. Exhale, rounding in the back, chin to chest. Inhale, chin up, arching in the back. Exhale, rounding in the back, chin to chest. Let's 
Let's begin to make some circles going counterclockwise here. Just loosening that, that lower back, hip bones here. To rotate the opposite direction, taking those circles clockwise. And we'll meet here in center. From a seat, let's make sure we're just continuing to breathe here steady. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. And then inhale those arms up. Taking your left wrist into your right hand. Leaning over to the right hand side, opening up that left shoulder towards the sky. Gaze goes towards the sky. Breathe. Inhale, coming to center, palms facing each other. All right, let's go ahead and take that right wrist into the left hand, opening up to the left hand side. Inhale. Inhaling those hands center. Go ahead and fold forward, hinging at the hips here, walking those hands out and hold. Breathing here, inhale and exhale through the nose. Inhaling, exhale through the nose. Maybe you walk your hands out a little bit more on each of those exhales. Last breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhaling those arms up. Let's go ahead and exhale, dropping that right forearm to the mat, opening up that left shoulder to the sky. Maintaining a steady breath here, continue inhaling and exhaling. Pushing up to a seat. Inhale that left that right arm up and exhale floating that left hand down to the mat, opening up that right shoulder to the sky. Three breaths here on your own pace at your own pace. Inhale up to a seat. Exhale, slight back bend, cactus those arms. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, bringing those hands to your knees. Put and drop that right ear to the right shoulder. Letting that head float back up to center. Dropping that left ear to the left shoulder. Floating that head back to center. Dropping right ear to right shoulder. Then drop the chin to the chest. When you get to the left ear, 
go rotating the opposite direction, half circles, keeping that rotation from ear to ear in the front of your body. We'll end back with our right ear towards the right shoulder. Go ahead and float that right hand up, gently placing it on the left hand side of the head. And giving your head, the side of your head, a nice little tug here, getting fairly deep into that left neck. All right, release. Dropping that left ear to the left shoulder, left hand floats up. Gentle tug on the right hand side of your head, really getting into the right side of your neck there. What a release. Begin to rotate your shoulders forward. And rotate your shoulders backwards. Last couple of rotations in the shoulder here. Just moving your neck side to side. Shoulder rotations, working out any last kinks there that you might have from any sitting or standing that you've been doing throughout the day. All right, and we'll meet in a tabletop. From tabletop, your knees are di directly below your hips, wrists are directly below your shoulders, toes are either touching. If you would like, you could also place the tops of your feet uh, along the mat. Let's go ahead and inhale that chin up, dropping that belly, shoulders back. Rounding in the back, chin to chest, exhale. Inhaling that chin up, dropping that belly, shoulders nice and back. Rounding in the back on the exhale, chin to chest. Rounding and uh, dropping that belly, chin up, shoulders back. On the exhale, rounding in the back, chin to chest. Begin to make that cat cow a little bit more fluid, moving at your own pace here with your own inhales and exhales. Maybe you begin to rock sideways or we'll add some circles into your cat cow motion. You had circles, be sure to go in the opposite direction as well. And we'll meet in tabletop. From tabletop, let's extend that right arm out, thumb up, extend that left leg out behind you. And on an exhale, let's bring that knee to elbow to touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. And plant that right hand down, left hand down, left knee down. Inhaling that left hand up, thumb goes up. Right leg, it shoots out the back. On an exhale, bring that knee to elbow touch. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Planting that left hand, right knee comes to the ground. From here, we're gonna extend our right leg out behind us. Toes are on the ground. We're gonna do three push-ups on this side. You're gonna be, your knee and your, your hands are the touch points on the mat. And as you push up, you're gonna let both of your feet rise off the ground. Let's go ahead and get three push-ups in. Bringing your nose to meet the mat. Bringing that right knee to the mat. Go ahead and extend those left toes out, touching the mat. Let's get three with the left leg flying. Planting that left knee down to the ground. With the left hand centered in the mat, go ahead and inhale that right, left, right arm up to the sky. Really opening in the shoulder here, breathing in, exhale, inhale, and on the exhale, let's go ahead and thread the needle, bringing that right hand over to the left hand side, back of your right hand is on the ground, beginning to walk that left hand out towards the top of your mat. Breathing here in and out of the nose. Nice steady breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and walk that left hand back towards your center. Using that left hand as a nice foundation here. And thread the needle. Inhaling that right hand high. And exhale, planting that right hand on the mat. With right hand. Grounded in the center. Go ahead and inhale that left hand up. Hold for an inhale and an exhale here, a full breath. And on the exhale, threading the needle underneath the right arm, left back of the hand meets the mat. Begin to walk that right hand out towards the top of the mat. And hold here for three breaths. Three full breaths. Walking that right hand back, using that right hand as a foundation. Taking your left hand on an inhale up towards the sky. Exhale, planting that left hand on the mat. Let's go ahead and tuck those toes and push back into downward dog. So first downward dog of the day. So it's like a generous bend in that right leg, right knee. Extending that left heel a little bit closer to the mat behind you. Downward dog. Generous bend in that left knee. Extending that right heel a little bit closer to the mat.
and downward dog. Inhale here and exhale. Take one more breath on your own. And at the end of your exhale, begin to walk your feet up to meet towards the top of the mat. We'll meet in forward fold. Grabbing for opposite elbows, begin to sway right and left in ragdoll. Feet are about six inches apart from each other, hips width distance. Letting those hands fall towards the mat, forward fold. Slowly begin to rise one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling those arms up. Exhale, cactus those arms, slight back bend. Inhale, arms up, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold to the center. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Front of palms, meet the front of shins. Exhale, forward fold, planting those hands. Step back into plank. Chaturanga, bending at the elbows. Flipping those feet, up dog. And tucking those toes, we'll push back into downward dog. One full breath here, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and at the end of your next exhale, begin to walk your feet up towards the top of the mat. Slowly begin to rise one vertebrae at a time, inhaling those arms up. Exhale, slight back bend, cactus those arms. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, forward fold to the center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, planting those hands. Step back to plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Tucking those toes. Exhale. Downward dog. Full breath here. Inhale. At the end of your next hill, walk or hop your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale. Full, one vertebrae at a time. Slight back bend, exhale. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back into plank. Chaturanga, up dog, tucking those toes, we'll meet in downward dog. From downward dog, let's go ahead and inhale that right leg high. Bending at the knee, three-legged dog. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, right leg high. 
Exhale, planting that foot into a lunge. And we'll open up to warrior two. In warrior two, you want your seat bone tucked in. Front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Arms are out to a T, gazes over that right middle finger. Just breathe here, holding in warrior two. Flipping that front palm, reverse warrior, bringing that left hand down, that left leg. Hold. Floating that right hand back to meet the left hand. Go ahead and clasp those hands together in the back. We're gonna hinge forward at the hips, letting your hands float high above you, humble warrior. Hinging at the hips to rotate up. Go ahead and release those hands. Rotating, cartwheeling those hands down to frame that front foot. Inhale, that right leg high. Exhale, planting that foot, downward dog. Inhale, left leg high. Bending at the knee, three like a dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, left leg high. And exhale, planting that foot in between your hands at the front of the mat. Go ahead and rotate that right heel down. Inhale up, warrior two on the left hand side. Left, hand, left knee is at a 90 degree angle. Seat bone is tucked. Gaze is over that middle finger on the left hand. Flipping that front palm, letting that right hand come down, that right leg, reverse warrior. Left hand floats up towards the sky. Releasing that left hand behind you, clasping those hands together. Chest presses out, up towards the, the ceiling. Begin to hinge at the hips, letting those hands float up against above you. Humble warrior. Floating back up, releasing those hands. Cartwheel those hands down to frame that foot. Left leg goes high. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to, up to elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, planting that foot. On an inhale, we'll come to warrior two. Flipping that palm, 
Letting that left hand float towards the left back, reverse warrior. Releasing that right hand, clasping those hands, humble warrior, letting those hands float up behind you. Letting those hands release. Go ahead and plant that left hand down, twirl on to those back toes, inhale that right arm high, easy twist. And begin to float that body up, bringing that right hand behind you, left hand out in front. You can leave your back leg in a lunge. If you would like, you can also drop that knee to the mat. Breathe here. Floating that right hand up to meet the left. Inhale those arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus those arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hand, planting those hands. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, downward dog. Take a full breath here. Inhaling that left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, planting that foot in between your hands. Gonna rotate that back heel down. On an inhale, we'll come up to warrior two. 90 degree angle, bend in that front knee. Seat bone is tucked in. Gaze is over that left hand. Flipping that front palm, reverse warrior. Letting that right hand float down that right leg. Left hand floats back to meet the right. Clasping at the hands, humble warrior hinging at the hips forward. Hands float up. Releasing those hands, right hand meets the mat, twirling onto those back toes. Left hand floats up towards the sky, easy twist. Gaze is up towards the left hand. Beginning to let your body float up. Right hand comes out in front, left hand out behind you for a T. Again, you can take this in a lunge position. Feel free to drop that back knee to meet the mat. Left hand floats up to meet the right. Inhale, hands up, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus those arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, planting those hands. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, downward dog. Two more breaths here. Begin to walk your hands to the back of the mat. And from here, I'm gonna slowly rise one vertebrae at a time. Coming into mountain pose. Inhale those arms up. Go ahead and cross at the thumbs. 
hands in prayer, crossing at the thumbs. With your right foot planted, begin to hinge at the hips, letting that left leg float up. We'll meet in warrior three. And hold. Bringing your hands to the center, to the Kundalini crunch, bringing the back of that knee to touch the back of that right calf. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, warrior three. And let that left foot meet the right foot on the mat. We'll go ahead and balance things out on the left hand side. Left foot is planted. Right foot floats. Warrior three on the left hand side. Bring those hands in center, go ahead and crunch down, bringing that knee to meet the shin or the back of the calf muscle. Inhale, extend. Exhale, Kundalini crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to calf muscle. Inhale, extend and hold. Inhaling up, right foot meets the left. Exhale, forward fold. And let's go ahead and walk those hands out to the front of the mat. We'll meet in a plank. I'm going to drop your knees. Flipping the tops of your feet to meet the mat. Slowly begin to lower your chest to the mat. Arms come out wide. And on an inhale, we're gonna float everything up for locusts. Inhale on three. One, two, three. Hold. Release on an exhale. Let's do locust one more time. Inhale. Bringing your forearms out to the front of you. Hands are planted straight on the mat. Sphinx pose. Chin is nice and straight, high up. Shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. Take your gaze over to the right. Bring your gaze back to the center and taking your gaze over to the left. Gaze comes back to the center. Go ahead and release your chin down to the mat. Pressing up through tabletop. Tucking those toes. Pull me in downward dog. At the end of an exhale, begin to walk your feet forward. Inhale, full rise, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, those arms up. Exhale, slight back bend here, cactus those arms. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Planting those hands, step back into plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Tucking those toes. Push back into downward dog. We begin to walk our hands back to meet our toes. And begin to rise one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling those arms up. Clasping at the thumbs, hands meet in prayer. Turn to the sides of your mat. I'm gonna take a large step to the side. Should be about three or four inches in between your feet. Toes angled in, heels angled out. Go ahead and drop those hands out to a T. Pushing your seat bones back, begin to hinge at the hips, coming forward, chin up, gaze is forward. Slowly get into this forward fold here. Standing forward fold. Taking your hands to your calf muscles, ankles, or the outsides of your feet, maybe to your heels. Beginning to shift your body weight towards the balls of your feet. Inching your forehead a little bit closer to the mat with each breath. Breathe here. Let's go ahead and walk those hands over to the right hand side, taking your left hand to the top of your right hand. Nice stretch here along the left hand side of your body. Continuing to breathe in and out of that nose. Stretching out of the lower back. You'll feel this in your hamstrings and in that lower back. Bringing those hands back into center and walking those hands over to the left hand side. Right hand comes over the left hand. Walk those hands back to center. And then bring your hands out to a T and begin to hinge up from the waist. This time we'll take our hands up and then float your hands back to meet, clasping those hands together behind you. Hugging those shoulder blades behind you closer to each other. We'll begin to hinge at the hips, chin up, gaze is forward, letting those hands rise above you. If you're able to bring those palms to touch, Really lengthening in that spine here. Head hangs heavy. Inching that forehead closer and closer to the mat. Slowly begin to rise from the hips. 
using that core to help you rise. Releasing those hands. Begin to heel toe your feet so that they are now about three feet apart from each other. Inhaling those arms up. Prayer position, crossing at the thumbs. We're gonna rotate towards the right hand side. Right foot is parallel with the side of your mat. Left toes are pointing towards the top left hand corner of your mat. Right hip hinging backwards, left hip hinging forward, hips are on one pane. Begin to shift and rotate, hinging at the hips. We'll meet in pyramid pose. Maybe your fingertips begin to graze the mat. Maybe your forehead touches the knee. You can bend that front knee generously to make that connection. Continuing to breathe here. Right hip back, left hip forward. Slowly begin to rise, facing that right hand side. Once you've reached the top, go ahead and rotate onto your heels and toes on both sides, facing the side, and then rotate over to the left hand side. Right toes are pointed towards that top right corner. Left foot is parallel to the mat. Right hip pressing forward, left hip pressing back. Begin to hinge at the hips here, pyramid pose. Need a forehead connection if you can make that happen. Maybe your fingertips graze the mat. Continuing to breathe in and out of the nose here. Hinging at the hips, begin to rise. Go ahead and rotate towards the side of the mat. Taking your left wrist into your right hand. Open up to the right hand side. Releasing that. Right wrist into the left hand. Opening up to the left hand side. Releasing that. Bring your hands to palm center. Go ahead and drop down into Malasana. Hands are in prayer center. Go ahead and float that right hand down to meet the mat. Floating your left hand up towards the sky, gaze goes up towards the sky. Hands meet in the center, full breath here. Floating that left hand down to meet the mat. Inhale that right hand high.
Right hand floats to meet the left in the center. Static Malasana. I'm gonna close your eyes here. Let's take three deep breaths together in Malasana. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Planting your hands on the mat. Go ahead and push up to forward fold. Coming to the top of your mat. Inhale one vertebrae at a time. And arms go up, Tadasana. Exhale, small bend in the back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping back into plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. And let's tuck those toes. Push back into downward dog. One full breath here. On an inhale, let's rise that right leg high. And bringing that knee to the back of the right wrist. We're gonna go into pigeon. Flipping that top of that right, le right foot to meet the mat. Left leg extends straight out behind you. It's a great opportunity to use a block if you have it right under your right sit bone. If you would like, you can stay up in upright pigeon or you can begin to walk your hands out in front of you. Feel reclining, pigeon. Continuing to breathe in and out here. Nice steady breaths. Using this as a great opportunity to come back to your intention that we set at the beginning of the class of looking inward and seeking validation only from the joy, gratitude, thoughts that you experience within. Inhale. And exhale. Exhaling into any areas of your body that you feel tension. Releasing that tension bit by bit as you continue to breathe through. Begin to walk those hands back, planting your hands, tucking those back toes. Inhale that right leg high. Bending at the knee, three-legged dog. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, downward dog, planting that right foot. Inhale, left leg high. And on the next exhale, bringing that knee to the back of that left wrist. Setting that left foot on the mat. Great place to use a block right here under the sit bone. 
Take a look back. Make sure that your right leg is flat. Your foot is flat and your leg is straight back behind you. If you took pigeon on the other side, go ahead and begin to walk your hands out in front of you. Closing your eyes here and focusing on steady, consistent breaths. Begin to walk your hands back. Once you've gotten to the place where your, your palms are planted, tuck those back toes. Inhale that left leg high. Bending at the knee, three-legged dog. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, downward dog. Go ahead and drop those knees to the mat. Coming to a seat on your heels, knees come to touch. Inhale those hands high. Crossing at the thumbs. Exhale, begin to forward fold, hinging at the hips, forehead, and the knife edges of your pinkies. Maybe they meet the mat. Breathe here. Inhale, beginning to rise, hinging at the hips. Exhale, floating those hands down to your sides. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Extending your right leg out long, left heel, the bottom of your left sole of your foot comes to meet the right thigh. Inhale, your arms up. Shifting your body towards that right leg, toes are flexed, hinging at the hips here. Grabbing for your shin, ankles, or the outside of your foot, the bottom of your foot. Lengthening in the spine, keeping that back straight, chest pushes forward, left shoulder, comes down so that it's parallel with the right. Inhale, those arms up. Tucking that right foot in, left leg goes out long. Right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh. Shifting your body over that left leg, left the Toes are flexed, 
begin to hinge at the hips, pushing that chest forward, forward fold, single leg fold. Slowly begin to rise, letting those hands float down to the sides. Let's go ahead and come to your back. So, from a seat with your feet planted towards the top of the mat, shoot your hands out in front of you. One vertebrae at a time, we're gonna lower towards the mat. With your arm, with your legs out straight ahead of you, but and hug that right knee in. Letting your left hand gaze that great, guide that right knee over to the left hand side. Supine twist, right hand goes out long, gaze goes over that right arm. Right shoulder stays rooted and grounded on the mat. Releasing that right knee back over to the right hand side. Put and hug that right knee in. Bringing that left knee to meet, hugging both knees in, grabbing for opposite elbows. Hugging the left knee in, extend that right leg out. And letting that right hand guide that left knee over to the right hand side of the body. Left hand extends out long, gaze goes over the left arm. Left shoulder here is rooted in the neck. Breathe. Releasing that left knee towards the sky. Hugging that left knee in. Right knee comes to meet it. Grabbing for opposite elbows. Begin to rock side to side. Showing that low back. A little love for carrying you through today's practice. Releasing those knees. Go ahead and release your, the soles of your feet to the top, uh, to the ceiling, to the sky. Grabbing for the outside edges of those feet. Happy baby. You can stay in happy baby static here. You can begin to sway left and right, back and forth. If you would like, you could also just extend that right leg high. And if you took a single leg stretch on the right hand side, let's go ahead and extend that left leg high as well. Bring those knees to touch in the center. One last nice big nourishing hug here. 
Extending those legs out towards the corners of the mat. Hands come out to your sides, back of your palms are on the ground. Shoulders nice and relaxed away from the ears. Begin to flutter your eyes closed here. Focusing on one thing and that is your breath. Nice and relaxed here. Savasana. I encourage you to stay in Savasana for as long as time will allow you today. Continuing to hone in on the practice of seeking knowledge, seeking healing, seeking joy from the depths of your soul in internal reflection. If you'd like to be guided out of your savasana practice and your yoga practice today, begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers, rotating at the ankles and the wrists. Bringing those legs to touch, toes pointed, arms touch ahead. Nice morning stretch here. Begin to shift over to either side, using your arm as a pillow, fetal pose. And with your eyes closed, let's go ahead and press up to a seat, meeting in a seat, shins crossed in front of each other. Let's 
ahead and bring our hands to meet in the center. Let's take three deep breaths together here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. Slow circle rotations on the third eye there. Hinging at the hips. Namaste.